When I think about being appointed to the chair, I think mostly about the honor of being a chair rather than being the first woman chair. But when I get communications from other women that tell me how excited they are, then I realize that it is something special. Mary Klotman's arrival as chair of Duke's Department of Medicine in 2010 signified a clearly earned professional ascension. She has established herself as an expert in infectious diseases and HIV and had spent the previous 13 years at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City, including chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases and co-director of Mount Sinai's Global Health and Emerging Pathogens Institute. She came to Duke with a track record rooted in encouraging collaboration between departments and successfully managing the challenges necessary to achieve clinical care success. It's pretty exciting to be a woman chair at Duke because, you know, I, I think for so many of our young trainees and faculty, that's something important. Klotman earned undergraduate and medical degrees at Duke, performed residency here, and was an assistant professor. Duke had such a tremendous influence on my, my whole career. When I came to Duke, I had no idea what a physician scientist was. So very, right from the beginning, it started to, to formulate a, a career path for me. And then of course there were the faculty, driven by this commitment to excellence, to take discovery, science, and really bring that to the bedside. During residency at Duke, she married Paul Klotman, the chief resident in internal medicine. They performed groundbreaking research on issues related to HIV in the kidney during seven years at the National Institutes of Health, in which Klotman worked on molecular virology and HIV research in the lab of internationally renowned researcher Robert Gallo at the National Cancer Institute. And so my husband and I have studied that disease together for almost 25 years. And I think what we're both most proud of is that our work influenced how patients are treated. During her 13 years at Mount Sinai, Klotman vigorously promoted collaboration among departments while building her independent research program. She has been no less vigorous at Duke as she builds upon a strong base of partnerships. The New Molecular Physiology Institute is a great example where we teamed up with Chris Newgard and really, I think, built an exciting new initiative. In 2014, Klotman's professional contributions to medicine were recognized with induction into the Institute of Medicine. She and Paul have been married for 33 years and have two grown sons. Five years ago, when Mary came to Duke as the new chair of medicine, Paul took a position as president and CEO of the Baylor College of Medicine in Houston. I'm most proud of the fact that we have not missed a weekend together in five and a half years. Physical fitness is important to both of them, and they jog or walk together on weekends for four or five miles a day. I'm very much into 10,000 steps a day. And so being able to walk back and forth to Duke South is great for me. In closing, Klotman reiterated the importance of Duke in her life and career. The idea that I could influence um, trainees and faculty in a way that was so important in my life. So a place like Duke I think is very special. <laughs>